So we're going to troubleshoot how to verify that Tor is or is not working. So the first step is to make sure that you have an internet connection. Easiest way to do that is to click on this what is my IP application at the very top right hand side, the question mark. If you get uh, an IP address right away, that means internet is working. This down right here, it does say that a uh, client does not uh, have permission to get the URL, so that's fine. Sometimes it uh, pops up like that with the, uh, um, what we're trying to get. But essentially, that is showing the internet is working and uh, Tor most likely is. So one way to again to verify if you don't get any IP address of the first, make sure that your client or your computer is getting internet. Because if your computer doesn't, then the virtual machine won't either. Um, so, with that said, um, if we didn't get any sort of uh, uh, connection at the very bottom or that second IP, usually you get an IP address, but the 403 forbidden is actually good. That's telling us we do have Tor. Um, but if you don't get anything here, then a couple things to check is to make sure that your uh, network connection or your geographic location is not blocking Tor. Sometimes countries do, sometimes organizations do as well, or potentially even ISPs. You could test that by either A, downloading the Tor browser on your host system and making sure you get connection, um, and if you don't, then it's uh, uh, being blocked. You could also test with a VPN on your post computer, VPN to a different country, and if you get through, again, you should still get an IP address uh, with this, what is my IP application. But let's say both of those are working, but your Tor VPN is not. So there's a couple things that you can test. So let's go and try it on my side. This should be working, um, but if it's not, you need to make sure that you have the right interface. If you're using the virtual machine or a VirtualBox uh, virtual machine appliance, then it's traditionally going to be the ENP OS3. So just keep it as default, but you can verify it on the left hand side by going up. This one has the IP address, so this is good. Go and turn it on, turn the VPN on. It's resetting card. Hopefully, it's going to get an IP address here um, pretty shortly. So it's trying a different website than this uh, what is my IP address is. So we definitely should get something. It looks like we did, this 185 address. So now it looks like we're going out of Vienna. So that's good. So that means that everything did work. But let's say it didn't. You still get the blue screen, but now when you go to the question box, it's not getting any IP address at all. So again, this IP address is different because it's going through Tor. And then we should be getting a second one, which hopefully it's going to get a different so it's not getting that error, but it is getting an IP address. So this right here is going essentially going Tor through Tor. This is just everything's now going through Tor. But let's say that did not work. You're not getting any IP address at all. Whenever you go to a browse uh, anything, it's just not going there. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is verify in your Tor RC file that there's a few lines at the bottom of the file. So how you would do that is sudo gedit, or you can use any editor that you want. But in this case, we're going to go to tor, torc, put in the password, hit enter. And now at the very bottom, if for whatever reason, let's say you had to reinstall tor, that's going to remove these lines. These are extremely important. This is what uh, helps the Tor VPN do its job, especially with the DNS side. So if these are not here, you're going to need to add them. And that's the virtual address network, IPv4, automap host resolve, the transport content, and then DNS port 5353. So if those are there, the next step is going to be sudo rm for remove dash etsy resolve.conf we have seen that there might be a rights issue 
when trying to rebuild this. So when you delete this, this essentially is going to be the DNS for the system. But don't worry, it gets rebuilt when you turn uh, the Tor VPN off and back on again. So we'll do one more. This one is probably not going to um, exist. But if it does, this is a folder, Resolve Conf. We're just going to do RF to force it. And then this point, you're not going to have any DNS whatsoever. So we're going to want to rebuild this resolve.conf. So we'll go ahead and go to Tor VPN. Make sure it's on the right interface. We're going to turn it off. Even if it's already off, you need to turn it off for troubleshooting. This is going to rebuild that resolve.conf. So now we can... Do a quick cat, Etsy, resolve.conf, and now we see a name server. That's good. So the next time we hit the question mark, we still get this. That's perfectly fine. Turn the VPN back on, and it should work. So in a nutshell, uh, just uh, go through the troubleshooting process. Make sure you have internet. Make sure you have the ability to connect to Tor that's not being blocked. If it's working on uh, what's my IP application, then it should work through Tor VPN. If that doesn't work, there's a good possibility it's a DNS issue. So go through what we just mentioned. Look at the uh, Tor RC file in Etsy slash Tor slash Tor RC. Make sure those four lines are there. Remove the resolve.conf and remove the resolve comp folder. And then at that point, it should work. So worst case scenario, if none of that works, just make sure to go ahead and do a power up. Once the system reboots, retest and try again.